it's Kendra and I've returned once again with another Aldi haul for me and my family of five. I'm making coffee, that's what you hear in the background because after today's shopping trip, I need an evening cup. Here are my usual disclaimers. Number one, in this haul you will see no meat because we purchased half a cow and a pig from the kids at the county fair. So I have freezers full of meat. Second, there is no fresh fruit or vegetables because we have a large kitchen garden which we can and preserve, so we take care of those needs that way. This is just all the other stuff needed to put meals together with the things I already have on hand. I'm hoping that this haul will last us at least four weeks, maybe longer. We like to see how long we can stretch it. So we'll see how that all turns out. If you'd like to see how we use these items, you can go ahead and subscribe down below to my channel, Happenstance Place, where I daily vlog. And that tends to include, you know, what we eat and things like that. Also during the month of February, it is worth noting that I will be doing Feed Your Face February, where I will have some additional food videos several times a week. On to the haul. Hey Aldi, we had not too bad a receipt. Spent a total of $177.10. That got us 106 items. Not too shabby. So now I shall walk you through what we purchased. There are two boxes of saltines, three boxes of roasted vegetable crackers, they're kind of like Ritz crackers. Then there are eight two pound boxes of elbow macaroni, one box of graham crackers, two boxes of creamy wheat. They still say it's a seasonal item, so I'm gonna keep picking them up while I can four things of the old-fashioned oats, and one bag of pretzels. Then we have six two-pound bags of long grain white rice, three containers of Parmesan cheese, one container of creamy peanut butter, and one container of mayo. Then there are eight cans of the chunk white tuna in water, four boxes of orange gelatin, four boxes of strawberry gelatin, two cans of crushed pineapple. I also got three gallons of whole milk and a container of California raisins. And then I decided I would try this English breakfast tea. I have not tried their English breakfast tea before, so I will see how that turns out, but I've been very happy with their coffee in the past, so I assume their tea will be just fine. Then we got 10 dozen eggs. They were 76 cents a dozen. Two containers of half and half, five pounds of butter, Eight blocks of extra sharp cheddar. One of my favorite things about Aldi is that I can get extra sharp cheddar for the same price because cheese is all the same price per block. Then there's six blocks of mozzarella, two containers of sour cream, three containers of cottage cheese, five four pound bags of sugar, so that's 20 pounds of sugar, three packages of mini semi-sweet chocolate morsels. I like the small ones because I think that they um, spread better in a lot of my recipes. And since they're the same price at Aldi, I get the small ones. And four of the two pound bags of light brown sugar. We also picked up a roll of paper towels because we are starting to run low. And then my kids like to spend their allowance money getting themselves some treats. So my four year old bought a box of fruit snacks for himself and to share. And my three year old bought a package of pop tarts for himself and to share. Toaster tarts, pop tarts, you know. So that is everything, and now I have to find a place to put all of this. And it's gonna be interesting because our kitchen is in the middle, well, almost the end of being remodeled. So if you'd like to see where I find to stick all these goods, again, subscribe down below to the daily vlogs because I'm sure I will show you where these end up. Thanks for watching, bye.